What's up guys? Welcome back to another... The background looks messy. I'm gonna clean it. Hold on. Okay, you know what? I'm changing the angle. There's no possible way of this room being clean. Unless we do clean it. So, um, I'm filming closer to my guitar today. Uh, which, okay, so what are we doing today? We're doing, we're trying Tara Yami's makeup tutorial. And I'm very excited because I love her. And uh, also, someone asked for a lash routine. So, Tara Yami makeup plus my lash routine because I did a video, I did a, I posted a second song. Wow. And the cover of that song was just like one of my eye. And my lashes were really good that time we're gonna get started so yeah um what was i gonna do oh yeah first up is moisturizer uh take off your glasses if you have glasses um so i studied this video all right i studied this video but i don't have any of her products obviously and um i tried to get as close as possible but i don't think i i, I think it's pretty okay um, the only problem, the most important step, eyeliner. Someone needs to give me eyeliner, dude. Like, I don't have eyeliner. Like, we're still with moisturizer. Oh yeah, I forgot to show what moisturizer I use. It's the same moisturizer that I use for my, um, skincare tutorial. You guys should watch that. But, if you don't want to watch that, lame. No. If you don't want to watch that, I'm using... The Cosmo Derma Vitamin E Moisturizer. That's the first step. And then she says that she goes in with a skin tint. However, I don't have a skin tint. If I need a skin tint, I usually just like mix my moisturizer and my foundation. But the closest thing I have to... This is really dirty. But it's the Silky Girl Magic BB Cushion. Um, and I use the shade 02 Natural Medium. And yeah, it's very dirty because... Um, because I take this, like just how you would use it, and I just tap it to shear it out. I tap it, and then, yeah, it's SPF 50, and it's really... Also, um, it could just be the lighting, but today, um, I'm kind of tanned. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, today I'm kind of tanned, and then on camera, I literally look so white. I don't know why iPhone, it always makes me so white, but in real life, I'm kind of tanned today. And I kind of like it. Alright, so that, that is the first step, and uh, she also says that she uses concealer. She uses the NARS one, I don't have NARS, I only have Maybelline, so we're gonna use got where she puts it but i'm pretty sure she just directly puts it here i don't like putting i mean i guess you would consider this putting it directly under your eyes but i don't like it putting it like some people put it like here and that just makes it so bad like i don't know why it's like it's not for me it's not for me um but yeah just gonna add some here I don't know, my skin has been good recently. Um, I don't know what I've been eating, what I've been doing, but kind of happy about that. Also, like, during the ho school holidays, uh, when I was filming that video, my skin was pretty bad. It's just because, like, I don't know, you couldn't, the camera didn't pick it up. But, like, my skin was pretty bad the first, like, like the few weeks of holiday. But now it's back to normal and... Kind of goaded. All right. Then after that, she does her brows. I gonna be so honest. I don't really do my brows. Like, oh, is that a bad thing? I don't really use my brows. I don't really like do it because I feel like my brows. I mean, no one's gonna. First of all, I have had bangs for so long, so no one really looks at my eyebrows. But number two is because I feel like, sorry, something's in my eye. But I feel like I just like how they are. Today we're gonna try it out. Um, I'm using the um, Unbelievable Brow L'Oreal Paris. I'm pretty sure this is discontinued. Hold on, I need to mix. Okay. I'm gonna use it. 
um, I'm gonna put a little bit on the mirror because I'm scared I'm gonna put too much on my eyebrow I am gonna say it right now I don't think I look good with full brown but for the sake of the video we're gonna try it out I haven't had full brows since since I learned how to since <laughs> why am I stuttering I think since I learned how to pluck my own brows yup yeah that's I'm pretty sure, yeah. So it's not that big of a difference, but it's clear that this is more full than here. I don't think it's that bad. I think it's pretty good. And this is kind of great because this eyebrow, I accidentally shaved it a little bit. So yeah, we're just gonna do that. So this is how they turned out. I don't know if they're even, but I like the fact that Actually, I kind of love it a lot. Maybe I'm going to start doing my eyebrows now. I don't know. But the next step, she goes in with cream blush. I don't have cream blush. So this is the only one I have. So she uses a color similar to this one. So I'm just going to take it with my fingers. Gonna, and she only uses it here. And I, honestly, same. We have the same blush placements. But I usually drag it to like here, like here, but she only like does it like here. Okay, so it looks a little crazy. It looks actually really crazy, I'm not gonna lie, but when we powder her face, I'm sure it'll look fine. Um, it's okay. Next, we're gonna be. I forgot if she powders her face or not. But then she uses. Sorry. She uses bronzer and she uses the rare beauty one, but I don't really like bronzing. Um, The closest thing I have to a bronzer is this one, and honestly, it's pretty cool toned. She uses bronzer as also a contour, if I'm not mistaken, because I don't think she used a. A cool, cooler toned brow or something like that. So now yeah, we're just gonna do this. And she says she takes a brush and she contours her nose. The most similar brush I have is this. So let's try that out. I've never contoured with bronzer for my nose, at least. So this is gonna be interesting to see how. Okay, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it a lot. I don't really like it. I don't really like it, but that's all right. We're gonna continue. Okay. Now the nose looks like that. It's not that bad. Um. In the video, she uses a powder one. She uses the champagne pop. Uh, I think it's forgot what's the brand but she uses a powder one but she says that she would like to use a liquid one this is not liquid by any means but it's quite oily like one so this is my favorite highlighter so i'm gonna use it can you see it yeah yeah and what's the cream blush that i use powerful love Ruby Cheek, Ruby Cheek Duo Creamy Blush, Zero One Romeo and Juliet. It just says KK. And then this is the NARS um, Copacabana. What? Alright. Alright. I guess we're using that. So yeah, I put it there. Yup, yup, I love this highlighter. And like, okay. On, oh my god, I love this highlighter so much. Okay, then, because she uses a powder, we're gonna also use a powder, oh! I also use a powder i don't know if i should use this one or this one but i think we're gonna let me just swatch them use 
use the more yellowish one in the shade retro in the from it's this is the palette okay i'm just going to use my fingers so yeah there there also i don't put it like fully i stop here so that you know there's a shadow whatever and then i'm gonna just I think I'm just gonna take it with my hands. I'm just gonna do that, and then I'm gonna blend it like this. Yo, yo! I freaking love this highlighter. I line my eyes with um, uh, eyeliner or pencil, I think. I haven't done my waterline in so long because it bleeds so badly but we're doing it for today okay now that you've cried your eyes out and do your waterline honestly I think this is a look it looks really nice but it hurts so bad gonna take the small brush and I'm just gonna so that's not how it's supposed to look like but I've already created like a shadow for it you know what I mean so like when later when I'm doing the eyeliner I know where to place it also both my eyes are not symmetrical if you notice so it's gonna look different so someone said that you can do eyeliner with mascara. I don't know if that's true or not, but we're gonna try it today. Also, because my eyeliner has been really annoying. So we're gonna see if this is true. I'm gonna use this angled brush. Okay, that's the first wing. Honestly, it's not that bad. Let's try to do the other eye. Also, it's like getting darker by the minute, so I need to do this quick. Great! I am 99% sure that this is uneven. Um, I think this one is more this way and this one's more that way. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna try and fix it off camera. So I didn't really fix it. Um, I'm just gonna accept the fact that it's not sisters because, again, this is okay, but you have to work really fast with it because it dries really fast. Now, we're gonna do the eyelash tutorial. This is where it gets tricky, guys. So, honestly, the sun is setting pretty fast. Let me just um, open the camera. I mean, open the window. Hold on. Also, I just want to point out the fact that we literally, I'm, I'm like so on brand today. Like I literally have the Ed Hardy shirt, the one that she wore. Not the same one, but like we both are wearing our Ed Hardy shirts. So. Okay. Um. The closer I get, the more you can tell the eyeliner is pretty bad, but whatever. I really, I bought this one from Guardian. Uh, it's really great, but you make sure to not keep, make sure to have, to not lose the rubber because I'm pretty sure I need to change the rubber on this and I don't know where it is, so yeah. Now that that's done, you go in with the Sky High Mascara. This is literally my, look, look, just do this. And it clumps up together but like in that specific picture i kind of had to go in with tweezers i'm not gonna lie using your fingers is so much better than using tweezers but uh yeah oh see okay so this time i cur curled it and it's separated so you're just gonna see use your fingers 
pinch it, it works just fine. Or you can go in with more mascara. Tada! Wait. You can't really see it from that angle, but some powder on it, so I'm just gonna. lines her lips and my not to like oh my lips are already thick but like since my lips are already thick i don't try to go over i don't try to overline it because then i'm just gonna look like a fish but she says that she does just a little bit so i'm just gonna do that but i'm gonna blend it okay i really like that then um I, that one does not have a label, but I'm pretty sure you can tell the color is just, like, just pick any pinkish shade. Okay, so this is the Catrice Matte 24 hour blah 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 blah. What shade is this? I don't know what shade this is, but it's the pink one. Last step is the Maracuja, Maracuja. I don't know how to pronounce this. Juicy Lip by Tarte in this shade. I'm pretty sure if you go, there's not that many shades. So if you go, like, you'll probably know which one. So, we're done. Do I believe in ghosts? No. One time I ghosted a guy in high school. That's literally me. It's literally me. Like, Ed Hardy shirt and the glasses pretty accurate um this is how it turned out honestly i like this eye better in terms of eyeliner and overall the way it looks i honestly it's like pretty similar to the way that i usually do my makeup so yeah uh i love it um i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in another one so don't forget to check out my new song i think that it was pretty great yeah it's on soundcloud i'll link everything in the description bye bye berry pie